Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. For the exercise in making the immediate maxillary denture, uh, each one of you has to uh, transfer the relations from the mannequins in the laboratory to the articulator. And to do this, we have simplified it. We didn't want to make an entire exercise out of the uh, face ball transfer and so forth, so we have simplified the procedure. But I think it would make it easier for you if I explain briefly a couple of uh, items about the mannequin itself. Now, as you'll notice, there are only two mannequins there that have the proper articulation. And uh, each one of you has to transfer this relationship to his articulator. The feature that I would like to point out here is that a small pin in this area can be released by just pulling it out. And then the lower mechanism representing the mandible can freely move back and forth. And to uh, obtain a face ball transfer, if you do it from the beginning, can be done by locking this uh, portion of the articulator out of place by just driving the pin through a hole in the back. And the, the mannequin can be locked open. And then you can work freely with the face ball. And then to record the uh, vertical and centric in one step, all one has to do is place either a base plate or some uh, soft wax between the two arches and then uh, swing the mandible forward and drive the pin back through the hole in the rod and at this time the, the entire mechanism is locked and this is the relation between the mandible and the maxilla that we desire. Now to make this exercise uh, go a little faster and get everybody started earlier we have prepared some fixed uh, face bowls and there will be three of these in the laboratory, so the transfer of the maxillary arch will uh, not even involve the, necessarily involve the mannequin. If some of you want to make base plates and take the faceball registration from the mannequin, uh, you're perfectly willing to do that. But with only two mannequins and the number of students we have, we thought it would be easier to start out with the, uh, some fixed mechanisms. So what we must be careful of here is that when you mount the upper cast, don't put too much force on the face bowl, which would swing it around. If it swings around, we can, of course have to go back to the mannequin and make a new registration. Now you notice that uh, when you pick these up, that also the mechanisms uh, in the condylar area are fixed. These are tightened, so don't loosen these to fall back and forth. This intercondylar distance fits the Hanna articulator and not the mannequin now. So actually, this face ball and other two just like it that will be in the laboratory are all set to uh, go on the Hanna articulator and all you have to do is place your master cast that's been given to you on the uh, base plate and simply mount the master cast to the articulator. Now to show that I have simply, I've already done this of course, but um, as I said once again the distances between the condylar rods have already been adjusted so you don't even have to loosen them and move them back and forth. By just springing them slightly they will go over the uh, condylar rods and uh, you can mount the upper in just a matter of probably less than a minute with some impression plaster. And then pass it around to someone else in the class and I don't think that there will be any problem getting these mounted. Now. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show at this time, and we'll take just a brief look at this. Normally, we uh, do have to make a regular face ball transfer for the, the patient. And so if some of you want to do this, it's, it's all right. But one of the problems is the mannequin is made out of a mass of acrylic resin. And it has changed somewhat from the shape of the cast that you have. So it's impossible to make a very accurate base plate on your master cast and have it transfer well to the mannequin. But this is the way we do it clinically. Now you, you have noticed here that we have a, a, um, a base plate made from the shellac material that you used before. And then we have some indices in the anterior area 
so that the edentulous portion and the and the dentulous portion fit in in such a way that it is perfectly keyed in and very stable, both on the master cast and in the mouth. And clinically, this is what we use for the face bowl transfer. Now, the next thing that we have to do, coming back again to the mannequin, now that we have transferred the maxillary cast to the articulator, we still have to record our intermaxillary relations uh, centric and vertical. And as I said before, because this is so mechanical, it's just a matter of some way keying the two together when the mechanism is locked in place. And because, as I mentioned just a moment ago, the master casts that have been supplied to you are somewhat different in shape from this acrylic resin master cast that we've had for three or four years now, the transfer uh, by using a very accurate base plate made on the master cast does not work well. It just doesn't fit that well. So for the purposes of this exercise, I think it would be perfectly all right if we simply warm up some wax and place a mass of wax along each occlusal surface of the lower arch and then simply close the, close the articulator and make some bite registrations. Now what we want here is a mass of wax that is soft and that is about the length of the arch and we should include a couple of the uh, anterior teeth also in the wax bite. Now at this point, in demonstration, I will only do one side. Actually, you have to do both sides at the same time, of course. So I'm simply going to place, now we should put a soft roll of wax on both sides, just like that. And we simply close down into that, and the, of course the index is made against the edentulous ridges, and there are many um, characteristics of the edentulous ridge that will help us key it in. I'm kind of doing this upside down. I'm trying to find the area here where I can drive that pin through and know that we have returned to a vertical, and there we have. The pin has gone back into place, and at this point, this is the relationship that we want to transfer. Now at this time we can actually index this a little better by molding the wax around the teeth slightly and letting it cool for a couple of moments. And then when this is taken apart, we can put it on the articulator. And a good idea here is to scribe a left or a right, whichever it is, so it's easier to find our index when we go to the instrument. And then after it has cooled for a moment, the pin is taken back out and the, and the lower opened and then just carefully removed. So what we have is an index. And this is all that's necessary for the purposes of this exercise. Now normally we take uh, centric relation records the same way we do with the edentulous case for immediate denture. This has nothing to do with that. This is simply a way for all of you to transfer uh, the art, uh, mandible, uh, mandibular and maxillary cast for this particular exercise. Now what I have done is I have already mounted the upper case for dem purposes of demonstration this morning. And I think I can show you how a couple of the indices will work in relating the master cast. Now, if we can look at that closely, you'll see that they fit back together in those wax indexes perfectly. And you'll notice from this view also that when the maxillary mandibular relationship is correct for this immediate denture case, the anterior teeth do not touch. So if your teeth touch when you've mounted them, it's incorrect for some reason. Of course, the lower is already mounted in this case, this is just demonstrating how the wax bite worked. So at this point, I'm going to reattach the lower member to the articulator. And the last step, of course, is to go back to the mannequin and observe, observe the relationship of your mounting to the 
mounting on the mannequin. And just by observation, you should be able to tell whether it's correct or not. By the uh, horizontal plane of the maxillary cast and the relationship of the anterior teeth to each other. And at this point, uh, you are ready to uh, set the teeth on the maxillary immediate denture. And then you can go ahead and wax the denture, and that completes the exercise for the immediate denture. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.